I'm Brian Legali with Brandon Bass for Everlast Welders. Today we're going to open up the Power Plasma 25i. Let's get in it. All right guys, we have the unit open. It comes with a 25 amp uh, torch. It comes with your workpiece lead, a regulator and water separator, and a pressure indicator. It comes with consumables and a tool for consumables. And this, uh, this is a hose for uh, hooking up the air system for it, and then manual. Before we run this thing, let me show you how to set it up. We're gonna start with the out. The out gets the bar fitting. The, um, the bar fit fitting is for the, uh, the hose that's provided. Uh, the center is right after uh, the barb fitting and that's where we're gonna put the pressure indicator. And then the input, we're gonna use the airline fitting uh, and that'll hook up to any shop air. Now that I got it all together, let's tighten the hose clamp up on the regulator and then we'll mount up the regulator to the machine. So I'm gonna mount the, the bracket for the regulator on the backside here. It comes with two machine screws and there's two threaded ports on the backside for it. Just snug it up. I'm gonna take the regulator, take the mounting nut off the top of it, and then I'm gonna feed the regulator knob through it, put the mounting nut back on it, screw it down until it's snug. Now that the regulator is mounted, I'm gonna push the airline on the back uh, onto the bar fitting on the backside, and I'm gonna use my screwdriver to tighten up the ho hose clamp that was provided in the consumed wool kit. Once this is done and everything's tight, in a good working order. I'm gonna hit it with a shop air. I'm gonna hook up the shop air. And I'm gonna set my regulator at about 60 PSI. The manual uh, recommends in between 35 and 70. I personally like around 60. To set your uh, pressure, you need to lift up on this knob and rotate it righty tighty until you hit your desired pressure. And for a good measure, you wanna push it down and lock it in so it's locked in and it won't move on you and rotate. All right guys, we're gonna hook up the torch. I'm gonna put the signal wire. This is uh, for the trigger. I'm gonna rotate it until it accepts it and I'm gonna tighten it down. Next uh, cap right here is for the pilot arc. This wire right here has a little O-ring on it or um, washer. I don't know why I said O-ring. I'm gonna get a thread on that. I have fat fingers. And then this is for the torch itself. This is supplying the air in the power cable. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the workpiece clamp just like any dense connector, you then push it in, half turn till it's tight. Before we fire up the machine and start cutting with it, let's, uh, let's open up this torch and uh, pull out the consumables, make sure everything's in its place and we'll talk about them. So first thing comes out is the retaining cup right there. This is considered the tip. Here's the swirl ring and the electrodes right here. We also have an O-ring that we need to make sure it's in place every time because this makes sure we have the seal. Um, everything's good. This is nice and tight right here. All right, we're gonna put the we're gonna put it back together. The uh, the electrode's nice and tight. We're gonna put the swirl ring. It goes on first. We're gonna flip the cup over. Drop that in there. Set it on there. And again, we're gonna make sure it's snug. We're not gonna tighten it with a wrench. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn this guy on for the first time. Power up, and I'm gonna put it all the way up. Give it all 25 amps. The reason I put it at 25 is I set the machine to the tip I have into it, and I'm just gonna adjust my travel speed. We're gonna do some test cuts with the uh, 25i. We're gonna use uh, some 6061 eighth inch thick. I got eighth inch uh, stainless steel, and I got quarter inch A36 steel, regular carbon steel. We got eighth inch aluminum here. All right, aluminum takes about 40% more power than steel. When you initiate the arc, you wanna initiate it just out, just on the edge of the plate. You wanna keep a tight arc gap, but not touch the tip and go as smooth and in control as you can. If you see it starting to get a little bit wide, pick up your travel speed. Next, we're gonna cut the one eighth stainless. Eighth inch stainless, I use all the same parameters and technique as aluminum. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut the quarter inch steel. 
Still have it at 25 amp. Because it is quarter inch thick, I'm gonna bump up my air pressure just a little bit, do about 70. Just fire up on that edge and just keep nice and smooth as I'm going, try it as straight as possible and keep a consistent cut so it, uh, it senses your cut as you're going and it doesn't cut out on you. All right guys, three materials, aluminum, stainless steel, and carbon steel. It will do uh, thinner and thicker of each of the materials. That's just what we have in, um, on hand here. Um, but that's a good representation of what this can do every day for you. This is the Power of Plasma 25i. I'm brand, oh man. I'm Brandon. I'm Brian. This is the Power Plasma 25i. I'm, I'm brand ambassador Brian Legalio. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, comment below. Um, and the website has a lot of information on it. I don't know, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs>